he would be my guide into a brave new world. Range Wilson. The bachelor pad in Marina del Rey had been a great place to live, but all good things must come to an end. David, stuck in the loft, finally got sick of living with no walls. Grant, his best friend, decided to join David in his new place. That meant Aaron and myself would have to find two new housemates at once or go our separate ways. For me, the decision was easy. Las Vegas beckoned and I heeded the call. Poker players belong in Las Vegas, as Irie Guy liked to say. Irie Guy was the screen name of one of the most respected posters on the 2 plus 2 forums. In this case, his reasoning made perfect sense to me. By living in Las Vegas, I could take advantage of all sorts of poker-related opportunities that simply were not available elsewhere. As for my screenwriting, I had an agent in Los Angeles and could travel back and forth easily. By moving to Vegas, I could also lower my taxes. Unlike many online poker pros, I kept detailed financial records and paid my taxes in full. Although the chances were low that I would get caught if I cheated on my taxes, I simply did not want any skeletons in my closet. That said, I certainly did not enjoy paying taxes, and by moving to Las Vegas, I could eliminate the state tax completely. Once I had made my decision, I arranged a trip to Vegas to find a place to live. Once I got there, I visited my top choice from the shared housing section of Craigslist. It was a detached house with both a swimming pool and a hot tub, located right in the middle of the city. It also had a small office I could use to play online poker. I quickly made the necessary arrangements to move in. Now it was time to play some live poker. Even though I had made tens of thousands of dollars playing online poker, I had not played a single hand of live poker in a real-world casino. To remedy that situation, I headed over to Red Rock, a high-end casino in Summerlin, away from the craziness of the Strip. I had arranged to meet Irie Guy there. He would be my guide into a brave new world. Irie Guy turned out to be one of the coolest dudes I have ever met. We were close to the same age, and like myself, he had forged his own road through life. Deeply conservative in some ways, while shockingly liberal in others, he was unconcerned with conventional wisdom. Irie Guy was a clear-headed and original thinker who served as a source of advice to countless poker players, including myself. As for my live poker sessions, they ended up going very well. I finished with a profit of $900 from two sessions at Red Rock and one at the Bellagio. That meant the trip itself was profitable even after travel and living expenses that included an amazing sushi dinner at the Bellagio. I restrained myself from indulging in any other Las Vegas temptations and simply headed back to Los Angeles to pack up my things. Tune in next time to find out what happened when I spent quality time with some of the best exotic dancers in the world. Until then, regular viewers, please like, comment, and or share. New viewers, please click the icon to subscribe, the playlist to catch up on my life videos, or watch a video that YouTube has picked for you personally. My name is Range Wilson, and I'll see you next time.